Hi Internet, it's your boy, the True Dark Magician, back again with another unboxing video. This time, I'm really excited to say I'll be unboxing not one, but two statues of one of my favorite, all-time favorite X-Men. Which I think is actually is pretty much universally beloved and regarded as everybody's favorite X-Men. Really, but today I will be unboxing for you the Marvel Future Fight 110th Diorama Wolverine figure and, and the Marvel Gallery Wolverine statue by Diamond Select. So let's dive on into these two pillars of the X-Men universe before Marvel and Disney decide to recast them. Get excited people, let's go. Okay, so first thing right off the bat you notice, this is a more colorful box. The, a more colorful and more uh, eye-catching box than uh, some of the Marvel Select statues I've been showing you. This one has a lot going on, a lot of graphics. Awesome graphics. Oh, this is beautiful right here, right there. Like this one right here. This is so nice. I almost wish that this statue, he was in this pose, but maybe the next one will be because this is a great pose. Anyway, yep. This is the Wolverine based off of the one you get in Marvel Future Fight. The uh, mobile game, I believe it is. I haven't played it because I don't want to get addicted on mobile games. Again, like I was in the past. So yeah, I don't play most mobile games because free-to-play does not exactly mean free. A uh, lesson I learned the hard way a long time ago. But, fortunately, I can still get the merch from some of these games. Like this statue right here. Oh man, I really do like this statue. So, I'm not going to mess around with the box anymore. Let's side. Oh, <laughs> unlike some of the Diamond Select statues I've showed you, this one comes in two pieces. Some assembly required. Yeah, one-tenth. It's a bit small, but that's okay. It's got a lot of great detail and character in this statue. Uh, requires a little finesse for the pegs to go all the way in. But there you go. Once they're in, yeah. Oh, man. Look at this one. This is nice. This is nice, especially for a one-tenth statue. This is his classic yellow and blue... This uh, classic yellow and blue costume. The one he had... Oh, man, the one he had when he joined the X-Men. Oh, and almost like the one he had when he first appeared in the Hulk comics. Fun fact, originally, his claws weren't part of his powers. They were just part of his costume. And when he first premiered, the fins on his mask were smaller. But they changed that when they decided to make him a mutant and have him be part of the X-Men comic, which is actually pretty good. But I love the classic boot style. The fins on the boots popping out. And look at these claws. They're huge. They're bigger than his head. Oh my god. He's got his belt. You notice the belt is missing the X symbol for the X-Men. It's just a regular belt. It's a fun detail. Oh man, the look of anger on his face is great. I just love his... I'm a huge fan of his classic blue and yellow costume, especially with the, stri with the stripes here and the stripes there and the blue shoulder pads, the blue underwear and the blue boots. Oh man, I couldn't take or leave the spikes, but the boots have to be blue. Oh man, say what you will about all his other costumes, there's no substitute for the classics. I even like this one over the yellow and brown costume he has. Even though they're the same design, I'm just a big, bigger fan of the blue and yellow than the brown and yellow. Oh. It's just a great figure, you know? Really happy with this. Lots of detail. 
like with most of the Marvel statues, the muscle sculpt is on point. The costume is skin tight, but it does have a crease in the legs to make it actually just say, oh yeah, this is fabric. The detail on the belt is good. There's even scuff marks on the belt to make it look like worn leather. And there's folds and there's uh, wrinkles and folds in the in the um, in the fabric of his boots and his underwear underoos to uh, give the illusion of fabric. Oh, there's even creases in the there's even creases and wrinkles and folds in the um, in the gloves too. You know, all just to make it look like fabric and not just one sculpt, not like it's just painted on. Which I really love that. Mm, his muscles are bulging out too. That's good. They put a lot of definition in his muscles. I love these neck veins. These neck veins of his is good. And if I had to nitpick, it's the fact that you can um, see the little crease right here. The little, um, the crease here uh, between the costume and the mask and one on top of his head. The head is two pieces connected to the hat instead of it all looking like one piece sculpted together. But that's just the little nitpick. I can get past that. Because I'm not going to be looking at it from the back. I'm going to be looking at it from the front. And the front, you can't tell at all. Okay, moving on <laughs> to the bigger statue. Ah, uh, the Marvel Gallery, the Marvel Gallery Wolverine figure by Diamond Select. Oh God, I just, I just can't. I'm, I'm tearing up, people. It's just, it's just so beautiful. So let's not waste any more time. Let's open this one up. I've been waiting for this one. A lot of tape. Oh, baby, yeah. This is the stuff right here. This is the shit right here. Oh, yeah. Look at it, people. Look at it. Oh, wow. It's just... I, I don't have any words. I gotta try to find the words. This is overwhelming. Oh man. Just everything about this screams berserker, screams rage, screams wolverine. Oh man, everything. So right off the bat, you know his, his skin is molded to look like skin. You see his pores, you see his wrinkles. You see lines to indicate his arm hair. Oh man, creases in his, the creases and wrinkles and folds in the molds to make it look like fabric. The boots, the, the boots are awesome. The fins are more, the fins are more, are shorter. Uh, his belt, his belt looks like worn leather. 
and he's got the X Men symbol. The fins, the fins are black, not blue. Uh, the scars are black. The little scars in the suits are black instead of blue, like in the last one. Oh man, there's a lot more color. There's not just yellow and blue. There's yellow, blue, black, red, all kind. His skin looks great. Oh my God, they even molded his teeth. They even molded his mouth to look like he's gritting his teeth. You can see see his eyebrow you can see his brow in the mask and the <laughs> oh there's just a lot of definition in this face even though it's a mask there's a ton of definition in the face just a lot his claws are on point they're beautiful his costume even the base there's a lot going on in the base oh man just a lot going on, a lot going on in this costume, a lot going on in this sculpt. Even, and that's just painted on, I'm going back to the, it's not just painted on, it's actually sculpted, dents and lines in the hair, and then painted to look like arm hair. Oh, the gloves are on point, there's lots of lines, wrinkles and folds in the gloves to make it look like leather. Oh, his claws look nice and sharp and defined. His costume is just great. Big plus for the yellow and blue and black costume. This is this is how he looked in the animated series back in the 90s. This was his costume for that. And I loved that show. I love that show. And when they finally, finally bring the X-Men into the MCU, I hope they remember the X-Men's costumes are supposed to be colorful. Not just black and yellow, but colorful people. I really hope this... I really hope they remember that. And they just make their costumes nice and colorful and defined like that. Oh. Oh, I just can't wait. I really can't. And thankfully, I don't have to because I've got this statue right here. Right here. This statue. I freaking love it. Oh, I can't. Oh, man. Oh, I'm just going to be staring at this for hours. I know. Sometimes I get so mad, there's no control in me My thoughts get so bad, I'm like I might grab a bat, I don't know My wrath, my blood boils over like Oh God, here goes I lost all feeling from my head to my toes You said some shit that I can't let go So just stay tuned for the rest of the show So have you ever felt betrayed? Which is how you see things Realize something needs change Cause I know you got me fucked up Let me show you what's up Cause enough is enough I'll take a face full of pavement Just to make a statement I know there's no turning back Oh god, adrenaline wasted So mad I can taste it I know there's no turning back I'll do what it takes I ain't making mistakes like that I'll play it on your face Just to make you go take it back I'll lose my shit I go crazy when I'm Because it's just so beautiful. Okay, so, yeah, before I completely have a total geek gasm, I'm going to sign off. That was my unboxing of uh, my two Wolverine statues the Marvel Future Fight, one tenth Wolverine diorama, and the Marvel Gallery uh, Wolverine statue by Diamond Selects. Thank you all for joining me today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did because I've really enjoyed it. I've been waiting a long time to get these statues. And now that they're here, I am so, so happy. Ooh, it's Christmas and spring. Mmm, feels good. So, uh, thank you for joining me again. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Share with a friend. And if you like what you see and you want to see more, I've included links on the screen to some of my previous videos. So until next time, Internet, as always, take care of yourselves and each other and keep unboxing. 
Bye.